All right, what's happening guys? So lately I've been getting a few questions asking to make videos about what my daily routine is like here in Paris. So today I thought I'd just take you guys through what my daily routine is like. All right, so for lunch what we usually do is just make a sandwich because it's cheap and super easy. So like I said, we just went to the bakery, bought a baguette for a euro, and then we just fill it with this ham and or cheese make our sandwiches. Now I just pack everything I need for work. Now I'm headed to work at our local bus stop here. All right, so France is really organized and with their bus stops and metro stops, they do a really good job of telling you how far they are and how many minutes it's gonna to take to get there. So right now, my bus is one minute away. Thing is you can buy a monthly metro pass for about 80 euros and it'll take you on any bus, train, metro, um, and you can ride it unlimited so it gets you around the city a lot faster and super convenient. Alright, so after getting off the bus, it's about a five to seven minute walk to my work. It's not that far, but the weather's nice today, so. Another big thing is that you will find cafes on just about every corner in Paris. So there's one here. It's actually kind of sad to think that it already is my last few days in Paris. I feel like I haven't been here that long at all, but it's actually been two months. So I'm excited to go home, but I'm also very sad to leave because I've fallen in love with this place. It is 5.55, I've just finished up at the office. I didn't want to do too much filming inside the building because people are working, but today I just worked on some taxes, working on budgets, expenses, things like that. Now I'm gonna head home to have some dinner because I'm starving. All right, so usually I take the bus home, but today it's taking a little bit too long. I'll kind of show you guys what it looks like along the way. Honey, I'm home. My friend's not here. I have no idea where he is. All right, so for dinner, what we did today was just go to our local grocery store and pick up a bag of salad, um, some turkey, and some eggs, and we just used it to make turkey salad and scrambled eggs. And the reason we're doing this is because it costs about four euros per person per meal. Compared to going out to any other European restaurant, the least you're gonna be able to pay is maybe 12 euros with a drink. So in order to cut costs, we just like to cook our own meals just because it's healthier, it feels a lot better, and you save a lot of money. Sometimes we do like to go out. So yesterday we went to an Algerian restaurant where we had couscous and merguez sandwich, which is traditional Algerian food, and it's really cheap, really filling. When you're on a budget traveling throughout Europe, and especially in Paris, which is one of the most expensive cities, you need to learn to find ways to stay healthy and eat nutritious food, but at the same time, save some money. With our dinners, we like to have 1664, which is kind of like the traditional French beer. It's equivalent to like Heineken or Bud Light in the United States. We're just finishing up dinner now. One of our friends is about to come over. I think we're just gonna hang out and yeah. All right, today we're doing a little bit of shopping. We went to this big mall called the Gallery Lafayette. I think I'm gonna pick up a new wallet. All right, so we are at the store called Saint Laurent, debating which one to get. Oh, they got different insides too. Okay. It feels so official.
Alright, so tonight we just walked around, took some pictures. I'm here with my friend Emma. Let's We're walking around the River Sand. It's a beautiful night. Alright, right now we're watching a fire show right in front of the no drop. This is crazy. Whoa. Basically the setup is an A7R3 with the 16 to 35 millimeter lens hooked up to an intervalometer on my tripod. The shots are turning out really cool and then once you put them into a timeline sequence it's going to look a little bit like this. So this is a Champs Elysees at night. It's looking really beautiful. Are moving by them, and if you do it properly, then you get this really. 